Hey everyone, it seemed like a lot of you enjoyed my playing with new makeup video that I recorded last month, so why not do it again? Let's do it again. Let's make it a monthly thing. Instead of doing regular hauls, like let's just play with new makeup. That way you can see how the products work, how they look like, all of that stuff. So this month we're going to be playing with a lot of new products, a lot of kind of expensive products. <laughs> But I'll tell you if they're worth it or not, you know the deal. So let's get started with the foundation. For foundation, concealer, and powder, I'm going to be using this product from Sephora Collection. This is the Matte Perfection Powder Foundation in the shade Warm Porcelain, which looks like this. This is one of the lighter shades in the collection, so you can tell I'm getting a little pale now. <laughs> so it looks like this. I've been trying it out recently, and I have to say I'm really enjoying it, so I'm going to be using it in this video. And I will have a detailed review for you guys very soon actually. To apply the foundation, I'm going to be using the sponge that's provided. I find that you get way better coverage with this little sponge than with a brush, so I'm just going to use this. <laughs> okay, so I'm just going to be taking some on the sponge and then I'm just going to be swiping it all over my face. On areas where I would apply concealer, like on the under eye area, I'm just going to take a little bit more of the powder foundation and apply it directly on that area. I'm happy with how my face looks. It looks pretty natural. I mean, I can still see like this pimple just a little bit, so I could I could apply just a little bit more and try to conceal it. But with this foundation, you get light to medium coverage, and it just looks very natural. Like I don't mind like having some imperfections like peek through. I mean, that looks normal. So I just don't want to look like you know like a mannequin just like. I don't know, like plastic with a full coverage foundation. So this is just right up my alley. I really like the finish. I like the way it looks, the coverage, and this little sponge, although it's like nothing special, but I just really like the way this applies the powder foundation a lot. For my cheeks, I had been waiting and waiting for these products. These are the Bite Beauty Multi Sticks. So I have two shades right here. I have Honey Wheat, which is this, look at this, brown. It is absolutely stunning. And then I also got Almond, which is a really dark rosy shade, which is why am I doing this? It, my camera doesn't autofocus, <laughs> but it's this beautiful rose shade, perfect for fall. So I couldn't help myself; I had to get two because I I just love anything that by beauty brings out. So in today's video, I'm actually going to be using hmm, I'll use almond almond on my cheeks as a blush. would have helped that I had the mirror beforehand. I feel like I rubbed off a little bit of the foundation because I was not there. <laughs> this is a rookie mistake probably. This is my first time trying these out so I have no idea if I'm doing it right or not. I think I'm not gonna go straight from the bullet again because I feel like that kind of drags the foundation so I'm going to be applying just a little bit on the back of my hand and using my e.l.f. small stipple brush to apply it. These are seriously pigmented. A little bit goes a long way and I made another rookie mistake and applied way too much. Oh my god, I feel and look, I feel and look like a porcelain doll. I'm going to just tone it down just a little bit with the foundation again, just so I look a little bit more human-like. Now moving on to the eyes, I'm going to be playing around with this very fancy eyeshadow palette from the brand Le Métier de Beauté looks like this. This is the Kaleidoscope Eye Kit in the name, in the shade, Bridget. <laughs> so it comes with four eyeshadows. This kind of reminds me of the Melt Cosmetics eyeshadow stacks, but I guess a little bit more fancy, I don't know. So it comes with a little mirror up here so you can see yourself and four eyeshadows like I mentioned. You get a nice cream shade, you get a metallic silver shade, you also get this kind of uh, 
kind of like a cranberry, a rusty cranberry shade. Then you also get a matte black. Now I usually don't like using matte blacks, I find them to be too harsh, but I mean they're nice to have. So you have these four eyeshadows, I think I'm going to be playing around with probably the reddish shade. So this one and also the cream shade, which I love eyeshadows like this. Okay, I am barely getting any eyeshadow on this brush. I'm like, <laughs> this is not cream, is it? No, it's powder. What's going on? Where's the pigmentation? Ah, there's the pigmentation. I am quite impressed. So these are the complete opposite of the Pure Cosmetics eyeshadows that I showed in my last Playing With You makeup. The Pure Cosmetics one, you would insert, like you would just put your brush in and it would just kick up a bunch of powder. This doesn't do that, so it does take a little bit of working. Like you have to pick up product little by little, but once you get it on your lid, like I didn't even feel the need to like dip my brush in there again because it had so much pigment and it went on so smooth and even like pretty impressed pretty impressed but i know these are very pricey so ah these are definitely something that i feel a little bit hesitant to recommend because oh my god they're so expensive So I'm done with the eyeshadows. What do I think about them? I actually really like them because they don't kick up like any powder whatsoever. So they're really easy to blend and to apply. Are they worth the money? I don't know. <laughs> this is just my first impression. So I can only say that this one, it's okay. I mean, I still prefer the MAC Blanc type eyeshadow or the Inglot. I forget what number because Inglot names everything with numbers. <laughs> but I do prefer those to this one. I find that those are a lot creamier and a little bit more pigmented. Even Wet n Wild has a single eyeshadow that's very similar to this shade that I think is almost the same as this actually and as for the red shade you can just go with max cranberry shade which is a lot more affordable than this I believe Mac eyeshadows are six dollars and fifty cents if you just get the pan nowadays so again a lot cheaper than this so my first impression do I like them I do are they worth the money so, for mascara, I'm going to be using the Giorgio Armani Eccentrico Mascara. This I received with the Influencer box with my uh, eye tints actually, but I haven't showed it in the actual video except for just a little bit on the eye tints tutorial. So I'm going to be using this again. I actually have been enjoying it, but once again, I'm not sure if it's worth the money, but I really do like the finish. It's just like 30 something dollars for something. It's a little bit too much. This is certainly a lot more expensive than the $1 e.l.f. mascara that I showed in last month's video. But I do have to say, I really like this. Like, I didn't even curl my lashes at all. And this manages to, like, lift them up. And it also gives you a lot of volume without having to re-dip the brush into the tube. So I like that as well. The one thing I have noticed with this is that it does tend to clump. So, which is a good thing and a bad thing. Like, if you like volume, a lot of voluminous mascaras do tend to clump. But this will, I don't know, I feel like it kind of clumps a little bit too quick for my liking. But you, you can just like brush them through. So there's like good things, there's bad things. It does wear beautifully throughout the whole entire day. 
and it doesn't even have a waterproof formula so I mean the wear time is amazing the effect I actually really really like it is perfect for smoky eyes and dramatic looks it's even good for every day if you do like big big ass lashes for every day like I do <laughs> but it is a little bit expensive I still prefer my Lancome Hypnose Drama over this one just because I get a little bit of everything with the Hypnose Drama and this tends to be more more drama than anything For eyeliner, I'm going to be using this one by Flower Beauty. This was actually, this is not new, it's newish to me. I've had this sample in my stash for the longest time. I did some decluttering and I found this and I was just like, huh, this looks interesting. It comes with an eyeshadow and an eyeliner. The eyeshadow completely dried up, so I can't even use it at all. <laughs> but I can use the eyeliner still, so I've been playing around with it. I like it, it's kind of like a marker. But I don't know. I'm still just playing around with it, see if I like it or not. It's not a playing around with makeup video without a little bit of milk makeup. I'm going to be playing around with the brow gel in Pilsner. Like I said, this was one of the 100 point perks at Sephora. I'm still playing around with it. It's supposed to be a brow pencil but with a gel formula. So yeah, we're still going to be using this on my eyebrows. I will say that if you have thin or sparse brows, then maybe this is not the like eyebrow pencil for you because you don't get a very precise look like this is no Anastasia brow whiz but if you have really big and bushy eyebrows like I do then you can just go like you can go like I'm doing <laughs> just fill in the little sparse areas to finish up the look I'm going to just apply a little bit more of almond on my lips just straight from the bullet this time around. So that's it for the finished look. I have to say I really <laughs> It's so dark and bampy, but like perfect for like fall. Although it doesn't even feel like fall here in San Diego. You know the drill. It never feels like fall here, but I'm just like, I love it. It's so dark. Oh my god, I wish it was colder. I really wish it was. But regardless, I'm still going to rock the bampy shades, although it looks like summer. I don't care. <laughs> so I really really love it. I have to say I really like the Bite Beauty Multi-Stick. I still need to get used to using them because I made two very noob mistakes and applied way too much. <laughs> I really look like a porcelain doll just with like the bright pink cheeks so I need to be a little bit more careful with these but I have to say I really do like them. Another thing that I really liked is the eyeshadow quad from Le Metier. It's just really cool but it is really pricey so I will have to do a review on this on my blog just to let you know if it's worth it or not you know I, I need to be careful because I can't be recommending something that's like over a hundred dollars just like hey go buy it it's, it's too much it's too much for four eyeshadows so I'm going to be playing playing around with this just a little bit more I also really really like the Sephora collection powder foundation the mascara I also really like but it like once again, it's a little bit pricey and I still prefer my Lancome Hypnose Drama. I think that one is like the ultimate mascara. This is good but it does tend to clump very easily so that's my biggest con with this mascara but that's pretty much it for this video. If you've tried any of the products that I showed in this video, let me know in the comments below if you want to see any reviews. Also, let me know in the comments below if you're brand new to this channel. Don't forget to subscribe by clicking right over here. Help me get to 10,000 subscribers and I will see you guys very soon in my next video. So thank you guys so much for watching and until the next one, bye!